everybody it's thrifty shopper here and i'm here with a quick video i wanted to go through all the little things that i've been kind of um buying and uh i've also been working on some really cute embellishments uh for christmas and i wanted to share what i've got there um, but i did go to a couple of different stores today and i thought it'd be really fun for you guys to see i also shopped on aliexpress and amazon's um ks craft and i got some dies and i got to play with them uh, so i wanted to kind of go over the dies that i bought let me show you I was really excited um, to get these dies in. This is the little ugly sweater set where you can make the shakers. And it comes with um, three different sweaters. And then the uh, this one would be the shaker part of it. Now, I'm not really sure about this one and how it plays in unless you're maybe doing it like this. And then you're, you have the um, bottom and the top and the sleeves there. That's the only thing I can think is that you could pop this on some pop uh, foam tape and it would be like three dimensional. So it'd be like a, a kind of like a billowing sweater. Um, so that's what I think is that's that's to make a three dimensional sweater. And then if you wanted to do a shaker, um, you would just die cut these two together. If you see they're separated just enough um, that you could make the foam, cut the foam uh, to leave a foam layer there and then you get all these really fun cool extras that make your ugly sweater so you've got these really cute um little squigglies with the little um starbursts and then you've got like the doily top to it so you could make it you know like an older kind of design you get the um, gingerbread and a Christmas tree and little presents and a candy cane and a snowflake. And these are just to make it, you know, decorated and ugly. <laughs> um, all right. So, and it's really cute. And I love this. This one is makes the, the ribbing. So it looks like it's really, you know, detailed. So I'll show you what that looks like. So, um... Here's my sweater. So I did a fancy shaker and I found really cute paper and I'll go over that in just a minute. And I put the little snowflake there and I put one of my little bows um, on the top there. It's just a paper bow. And that's that detailed ribbing that I just love that I can add, add to the top and the bottom. And then I've also made some flat ones. Here's a little blue one with the tree, a little um, doodle bug uh santa stocking this one's a doodle bug um gingerbread man and then i've also got another little tree one so those are that and then i cut a couple of different bows to go with it and then i wanted to show you the other one i did get the let me put this one back and then um i did get this one here this makes the santa card that you can fold and then it also has you know all the things to make the Santa face and um, that was another KS craft I um, I think I actually got it off of Allie so it came and this is what that made and you just you just I just um, used my alcohol ink markers and just did some skin tones made the nose a little bit pink and the mouth red I also used an embossing folder this one here that I had no I didn't buy this recently this is one I had in my stop my stash and um, just did his beard and mustache in the little um, snowball there at the top there uh, puff ball or whatever pom-pom and I think they turned out really great. And you can just put a little sentiment in there and clip it to a, a package. And that was that one. And then I wanted a star um, shaker because I wanted to see how my doodlebug stamps would look on the front of it. And so I did get this one in and I made a star shaker. And I used my doodlebug stamps that I colored with my alcohol markers. And I think it just turned out really cute. 
and it has little snowballs in there. It's just really cute. So that's that one. And then I also got in this tiny little Santa face, and it is a shaker as well. And I kept some of the pieces in there. Um, this is kind of like the shape of it. And then you just layer it on. So you cut a couple of these to make the foam. And then you do this for the backing and you lay the foam on top. Foam on top. And it did, when you do the, the last layer, the paper layer that you're gonna see, you do have to flip it on the paper so it turns out right. Um, but all the pieces are there for you to be able to make a really cute Santa face shaker. And uh, this one I got off of the Facebook um, scrapbooks. It was a Facebook scrapbook um, place where they have this stuff in stock. So when you order from it, uh, it doesn't take forever to get. And that's him. Isn't that cute? And he's got a little shaker and it's all open and you just kind of place the stuff on top of the acetate there. Um, so you can see it all kind of moving around in there. I got his little nose all pink there and he's got really cute little eyebrows. Just really cute. And that's that one. And then I didn't make these, but they're really cute little uh, Christmas lights. And you have the back, and you can make them layered. But uh, they're not shakers. They're, I don't believe they could be shakers. I don't think so, because they're like really thick. Anyways, I got that, and I haven't played with it yet, but I thought it would be cute to layer on there. These are the book dies that everybody's showing, and I did make two little books with my doodlebug stamps, and I attached the cute little um, plastic bale there so they could make um, them ornaments. And then I also got in, oh, this is a cute one. So these are those little girls that are really cute, and I put her together. This one's a little girl making a snow mall, a snowman. And this is how I, how she turned out. Really cute for like the top of a card or something. Just really cute. And you can see the detail in her hat. And then what else did I get? Oh, I got this little house making one and you can find that on Amazon. And it's got all the little candy canes and gumdrops and things. And uh, I created shakers. And I just put my doodlebug stamps on them. And then I did those uh, bales and did some string. And I've got a couple of those. Yeah. All right. So that's what I've gotten so far for my Christmas ornaments <laughs> or my embellishments. Um, I have been working a lot on trying to get more. Um, but I've been working on coloring my stamps and things. So I didn't get the actual you know embellishments done yet but I have started and I think it looks really cute and a lot of it's a lot of fun to play with all right so next I wanted to show my some things I bought so I did go to the dollar store and I found these cute stickers they're like kind of retro they all have like peace and flowers all over them and I thought um I'm gonna get the the VW van soon and hopefully from aliexpress and i want to kind of you know use that retro kind of cool um stickers then i found this one here at the dollar store and it's good things ahead be bold you've got this these are really great for sentiments when you're looking for something really quick to pop on something that you wanted to say something you know and these aren't christmas related at all they haven't brought any of that stuff out yet um at the dollar store but uh this, you know, these are, you know, everyday type of things. And then this is another one I thought had really good sentiments. And I love the hands. You got this. Hang in there. Today is the day. Think positive. Really cute. And then I found this one here. You are my sunshine. Love. So sweet. Happy life. Uh, a lot of little cute sentiments you can pop on your um, cards or projects. And then I found a coffee one I thought was really cute with some donuts and things. And I will be doing a sweets um, uh, swap soon, so I wanted to go ahead and get some things that had sweets. And then I found these awesome stickers. They're uh, 
Wonder Woman, and they're three-dimensional, really dimensional, um, plastic stickers. And I just had to pick those up. And then I found a Frozen, you know. I don't really do anything with Frozen, but I just couldn't bear to leave them there. Because <laughs> they're so different and neat and pretty. Anyways, you never know when you could use those. And then um, they had the Little Pony um, tattoos. And I thought, uh, when I was looking at Macari, they wanted a lot of money for things like this. So I picked these up because I was watching a YouTuber that um, did the little shaker that looks like a bubble water game. And she used older characters. Uh, I know little uh, My Little Pony's still around, but she used like the Popples. And what was the other one? Uh, Care Bears, I think. She used those strawberry sh shortcake and Care Bears and things. And so when I found this, the little ponies, I thought I could do my um, bubble water game in some of those kind of retro-y type um, characters. And then I found this, and I'm really in love with the hands and the cool there. And so I got two of them. I thought it'd be really kind of fun to like do like the hands on and then something in the center of them. So I wanted two of, of them. Then I also found this way back in the back of all of the stuff. And I think I'm missing a thing. But anyways, I got chill and a hamburger. And that was the dollar store, so I got two for a dollar. Yeah, I think it is missing one, but hey, it's pretty cool. And then I found these, and I thought I could make one of those water bottle, water game um, shakers with fruit. And... Um, use my strawberry punch that I got and make some dimensional things that maybe hang off of it. But I thought it'd be really cute because these are kind of fun, like bouncing around and it'd be kind of fun to try. And then I also found at the Michaels, um, the shaker stuff that's all shaped like fruits, different fruits. And so I thought I would use that inside of the bubble water game. Then I went and I found sweet treats. And since I have a Sweet Treats um, project share swap coming up, I thought I better get this because, uh, well, for one, I could use it in the water bottle, the water game thing again. And I haven't created one yet, but I'm trying to get little thingies for it. And uh, maybe to decorate things, some cards or whatnot, tags. And then I went to Five Below, and they had this cat banana, and I went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> these have like shine in them and then the backs are just plain matte but they only have these two sheets I think oh it's four sheets so you get two of each so I've got quite a bit there and then because I figure I probably won't see them again and then they had the little bookmarky looking ones here but they're just so cute and they have sweet treats in them too that I thought I could use in my water game and um, other things to decorate it's just really cute stuff and so I wanted to get them and then I found the twin star looking and it looks like it looks like we've got uh, Hello Kitty and some of the other Sanrio characters and they just were really cute so I had to get those and that was at the five below and they were two dollars and fifty cents I think then I went to Michael's and I found these paper pads on one of the, it was near the paper, um, and they look just like plain. I'd walk past them all the time, but I've been looking at paper a little bit more closer. Um, Strawberry Milkshake, I think she's on YouTube, and I was watching her make her Christmas ornaments, uh, embellishments, and she was using these gorgeous papers that were glittery and stuff. And so when I saw these paper pads, I had to have them. Now look, this is like really pretty gold, and then a matte silver, and then there's uh, some more gold there, and you get quite a bit. Look at this one. I thought that would be really great for Halloween. Maybe those embellishments that um, the words like eek and ghoul and stuff. And it's just so pretty. So I got that book. You get the black, the gold, yeah, all these metal colors here. And then I got the glittery cardstock one. And this comes with a bunch of pages, too, of different colors to play with for my pastel Christmas. And then I got this one. This looks like it's regular paper, but it's actually 
really beautiful, shiny, shimmery, thick, nice paper. And it's in beautiful colors. Let's flip through it. And you get quite a few pages of each one. And these were $8.99, but they had 20% off regular price stuff. So I went ahead and bought them. And it's just beautiful. And I'm just using them for my little embellishments that I could use, you know, a little piece here and a little piece there from all the different colors. And maybe to make some tags out of. So I really wanted to get these. I thought that'd be kind of fun for you guys to see and share. And then the last thing, I just picked this up from my bookstore. And I haven't seen this. I, I just wanted it so badly. Um... All right, and this is the last thing I did get that's from my bookstore. Um, it looks like a lot of wonderful, interesting, cool stamps that you get with this. It's two must-have stamp sets, Summer Nostalgia Creative Stamping, um, pack worth $45, or 45 pounds, I think that is. Um, yeah, so it just looked really cool. And it was a kind of expensive because those bookstore stores actually charge you know an arm and a leg here uh this was twenty two dollars and ninety nine cents but these are always you know stuff you can't buy anywhere else usually so let's open it up and see what we got i love these free well <laughs> free i love these sets that come in these like little magazines that give you ideas because like i said you can't get the the stamps or dies or whatever usually unless you buy these so they're kind of a collector's item. Okay, so we've got these really cute pictures. Um, it looks like some kids on the beach walking around. And then that older couple there with the pooch. And then it looks like you got um, the beach uh, dock going out to the water, a bench, a tree, some wine and picnic stuff. And then we don't... We do not remember days, we remember moments. So these are really great sentiments too that I don't have anything about. I don't have them. I mean, happy retirement, I don't know about that. Memories are meant to be made, not forgotten. Enjoy your day, relax. I love stamps because you can always use them over and over and over again. It's not like a sticker that you're done with. You can stamp these and re-stamp them. I should have been nicer to this bag, but anyways, yeah, just really great. I mean, that's really great. Yes, very cool. And then there's a little hammock, a beach scene, a tropical tree, some shells. Oh, this is just so cute. Look at that. Well, so you got the sun, you got a woman reading books, clouds, and then you got remember when. Happy birthday, a little sandcastle. Looks like a picture reel there. Yes, very cool. Summer Escapes is what it was called, and they only had one at my bookstore. And you never know. You never know, so I love this kind of stuff. So look at that. That's how they created that with the hammock. And uh, just really cool. I love it. <laughs> Uh, I know these are usually just trying to sell you more stuff, but sometimes they have cool ideas and sometimes like I found the um, This board in the book one of those books. I had to have it after I saw the book this. I'm sorry the The we are memory keepers everything board and I use it all the time. I love it. I Usually wouldn't write on it, but I had to because my project needed a little bit of a little bit of a help there <laughs> but yeah so you get some things you get some ideas of what's coming up new and that may be where the ladies um knew about the makey homes garden party coming out i had no idea when it came out i wasn't prepared and then when i tried to find it i was not able to get it when everybody else was playing with it so yeah and i don't know if i can subscribe to this because it's a i think it's a united kingdom yeah so I try to buy these when I see them, and it's very rare at the Michaels that you can get these. They're, like, scooped up the moment they get them. Anyways, I better not show the whole magazine. You, you've got to find it for yourself. <laughs>
but I just wanted to show you these beautiful stamps that I just had to have because I don't have anything like that. I don't know how much I'll use it, but I don't know. It's fun, and these are really nice sentiments. And I hope you enjoyed this haul. It's uh, It was fun to go shopping and find all these really cute little things and share them with you guys. I hope you enjoy your day. Have a great weekend, and stay safe. Bye now.